Hello and welcome to another installment of the Stogie Review Video Review. This evening I'll be reviewing the Hoyita Monterey Dark Sumatra. It's got an Ecuadorian grown Sumatra seed wrapper, Connecticut binder, uh, Dominican, Honduran, and Nicaraguan fillers. Uh, to start things off, one thing I want to show you is one of the very nice things about this cigar. You see this is completely effortless. I really like that about a cigar. And uh, if you just go ahead and remove the cedar band, which is quite a bit tighter. Wow, actually, way tighter. Alright. It's pretty firm. It's got a slight uh, kind of spring to it. Uh, it's got some heavy veins. It's an oily wrapper. A nice strong cedary smell to it. That's probably from this cedar sleeve being on it so long. This is actually an older cigar that I bought from JR that came in a eight box sampler. About twenty four bucks, really good buy. But uh anyway, let's get started. Like last time, I use a cutter. And just as before barely slide it in and give it a little twist to kind of score the wrapper. You don't need to do that, I just kind of like doing it. Quick cut. And that's the result. Like every, uh, like every other one I've had so far, the draw is a little stiff, but it's nice and flavorful, and it's not really too much of a workout to, to draw through it. So I'm going to go ahead and begin toasting the foot my PB207 lighter. Took a little effort to remember the numbers. If you remember last time, I got the numbers wrong and had to correct myself. Well, I had one little trouble spot lighting, but overall, it wasn't too bad. It's producing a fair amount of smoke for that little bit of a stiff draw that I'm getting, but overall, there's really no complaints. It smoke's very flavorful. It's uh, full-bodied. Flavors, uh, you know, almost uh, like a heavy dark coffee, sort of bitter chocolate going on there. The finish is smooth, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get through the first quarter quarter inch, half inch or so, and then I'll be back and you know we'll talk up the cigar some more. I'm back. It's been a little more than a quarter of an inch. Actually, it's been about three quarters of an inch. And if I put together a blooper reel, you can see the that three quarters of an inch dash fall all over me. <laughs> but it's nice and light. It's fairly strong. It, it was pretty long before it fell on me. So that's a that's a plus. Another thing to note is is actually the color of the ash. From what I understand, the lighter the ash, the more complete the combustion is. That doesn't really affect the way the cigar tastes, but it's just inter interesting to know that the higher quality cigars should combust more completely and and you know go through that process you know as a whole and not you know leave big black dark uncombusted parts in the in the cigar draw still a little stiff but uh it's producing a lot of smoke it smokes really thick it's smooth and creamy I'm getting a little bit of a, a peppery taste, and you can really taste those, those cedary notes coming through now. So far, the cigar is, is really nice. 
Uh, one of the particular reasons I bought this cigar was just because my luck with Hoyota Monterey has been has been great. I've had a lot of really good cigars from them, and I just continue to buy new things and try them out. And so far, I, I haven't had a Hoyo I haven't liked. So I'm going to probably order another sampler of these just because I like them so much, and I prefer samplers over boxes. So I'll just go that route. Well, I'm going to smoke a little bit more and be back in a few minutes. Well, here I am again. As you can see, I'm getting down around the two-thirds mark of the cigar. The um, the body's beginning to pick up. It's getting pretty, pretty heavy now, even more so than from the start. The flavor base is still uh, more like, like coffee and, and chocolatey. The, there's still some slight hints of pepper and just a little bit of spice when you kind of circulate the smoke through your sinuses. So far it's been very good. The draw is a little bit better now. Still producing a lot of smoke. Really light smoke. Yeah, she's still pretty good. Not falling on me anymore. That's always a plus. But out. Uh, the uh it tastes really crisp and, and clean that's kind of hard to describe but it, you know it's really kind of it's real smooth and, and crisp on the palate which is a nice change from some of the other cigars I've smoked over the past few days but uh kind of wanted to talk a little bit about how you what you pair up with your cigar in terms of drinks now a lot of guys drink uh Scotch and bourbon, but I just I don't like it. And usually, I I, uh, I drink water, but today I decided to uh, to go with a beer. And usually, I, I drink Yingling, like I mentioned before, and it's uh, it originated as a Pennsylvania coal miner beer up in Pottsville. And uh, it's sort of light, but but it's a it's a full flavored lager. It's much lighter than what I'm drinking now. And that is actually a beer made up in Lancaster County, which is uh, it's a milk stout. It's brewed with lactose, which is kind of interesting. And then it's really, really heavy, full-bodied. It's, it's a typical stout, but it's got uh, some sort of coffee-like flavors to it. And it's going really well with the cigar. I just wanted to kind of mention that. that if you, you pair up your cigar and your drink well, you know, the, the result's very nice. Well, I'm going to smoke a little bit more, have some more beer, and, uh, you know, I'll get back with you in a few minutes. We'll we'll touch base on the, the final third of the cigar, and then uh, I'll give you an overview. Well, it's been about a half an hour. i got, oh, about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters left. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smoke this down to the nub, pretty much. The body's it's a bit stronger than it was earlier. It's continuing to build. Uh, it did plateau for a little while, but it's starting to steadily climb again. The finish is still really creamy and and rich. The the draws loosened up a little bit more. It's still producing lots of smoke. One of the best things about this cigar is you really don't need to keep on top of it. You can set it down for a few minutes, walk away, come back. It's still lit. It's not burning uneven. It doesn't require any touch-ups. It's just a, a really solid performing cigar, and uh, couldn't be happier with it. It's it's really it's, it's a very good, very good cigar. Well, not a whole lot to say. It's been very consistent. So I'm gonna smoke a little bit more, and I'll be back to do a final overview and just give you my overall impressions. Well, it's been a little bit, and uh, I don't this cigar has seen better days. Whether you can see it or not, but I've got some lifting going on. Actually, the cap stuck to my lip, and when I pulled away, I kind of pulled the cap with it, and now it's starting to unravel. And it's getting really hard to manage. If if that hadn't have happened, I probably would continue to smoke this even shorter. But you know, I just, I'm just going to have to put it out. I really, I'm having a really difficult time managing this.
But anyway, that was the the Hoya de Monterey Dark Sumatra. It's a full-bodied cigar with a nice creamy finish with uh, really heavy coffee and bitter chocolate flavors, you know, with a little bit of pepper and spice thrown in there to mix things up. I really like this cigar and will definitely smoke more in the future. And uh, if you're a fan of the Hoyo line, or even a fan of full-bodied cigars, I definitely recommend giving them a try. Like I said earlier, the uh, the samplers are about 24 bucks a box. You get eight cigars, various sizes. Actually, you get two of each size. So it really mixes things up. It gives you an idea of what you'll like. For me, I tend to like the smaller cigars in this range. Just That was just the last one I had left. Uh, the smaller they get, it seemed to be... You know, heavier and fuller. But that's just my experience. So, if you get a chance, get yourself a nice heavy drink. Sit down with your Hoyo de Monterey Dark Sumatra and have yourself a good time. Like always, you can contact me at Walt at StogieReview.com. Uh, give me your impressions, your thoughts. And uh, even if you, you'd like to request a particular cigar, you know, send myself, Jerry, Jerry at stogiereview.com or brian brian at stogiereview.com an email let us know what you're looking for and uh, if one of us has it in our humidor we'll review it for you if we don't we'll do the best we can to get a hold of one and you know try to fast track it for you well that's all I got for you tonight guys thanks a lot